Welcome, people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. This is our top 10 look at the highest selling vintage t-shirts over the last two weeks. Let's see what t-shirts made the list. All right, starting us off, we have this vintage Slayer Haunting the Chapel t-shirt in a size medium. It says it's uh, color black, but of course we've got that faded black. Uh, this one looks so good. Uh, big fan of Slayer back in the day, uh, in my younger years. This t-shirt, uh, photos could be a little bit better. We've got some cool Slayer photos here. Um, I don't know, is he wearing the shirt? Yeah, there we go. He's wearing the shirt right there. Sleeveless, as, were, uh, as was common at the time. Uh, but this one looks great. Let's look at the measurements. Do they include the measurements? Yes, they do right here. Um, it's hard to see exactly what numbers those are, but it is smaller uh, as most t-shirts from this era were. Uh, but this one is super dope. Uh, there's a couple Slayer. This is actually the first of uh, multiple Slayer t-shirts on this list. So uh, this one it sold for $1,101 with free shipping. Next up, we've seen this t-shirt before. This is the Mud Honey Super Fuzz Big Muff t-shirt. Uh, funny enough, Big uh, the Big Muff is one of my favorite pedals of all time. Uh, but this one is so cool. I, this is one I really wish I had. Uh, big fan of Electro Harmonics, big fan of Mud Honey, and big fan of, uh, I believe, uh, uh, Kurt Cobain uh, wore this several times uh, pretty popularly. Uh, on the Fruit of the Loom tag, this one looks pretty clean. Like... Um, this thing looks really good uh, for its age. I don't know if they know there's any particular defects. Um, but anyway, it looks like it's... Uh, oh, they say there's some cracking, but most most of uh, the t-shirt looks like it's in, in really good condition. Uh, this one it sold for $1,134 with 31 bids plus shipping. Keeping the grunge... An alternative uh, theme going here. We have the Melvin's Stoner Witch t-shirt in a size XL. Uh, this one looks really cool. It is on the gym tag. Uh, Stone Witcher here on, or Stone Witch on the back. Stoner Witch, excuse me, on the back. Here we have the uh, uh, under license, great entertainment merchandising. This one looks also like really clean as well. Uh, this is the front hit, and then it has that uh, uh, spell out on the back. Uh, this is the first time we've seen this uh, t-shirt design on the list. Uh, let's see. It's 100% authentic guaranteed. That's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, looks like uh, looks like this guy was not interested in taking offers, and he didn't need to. He got exactly what he asked for at $1,149.99. Then we have our first of two Nirvana Heart Shape Box Tortees. Uh, that we have seen on this uh, list. Then we have our first of two heart-shaped box tees that made the list. Of course, last week I think we had like something like four on the list. This week we don't have that as many, which is really nice. Uh, but this one was really pretty interesting because it appears that it was professionally hemmed according to the, uh, the description. I would have loved a few more photos. I don't know if they gave the measurements. doesn't really look like they did. Uh, so, who knows exactly what that hem uh, uh, did to the size, uh, and it probably definitely it definitely played into the sale price of this T-shirt. It sold for one thousand and two hundred dollars. Looks like they took a best offer on their auction. Then we have another awesome '80s T-shirt. We've actually seen this T-shirt on the list before. Uh, Cyclotronic, uh, user Cyclotronic has several entries on this list. It must be clearing out some of his collection or her collection. Uh, this one, super cool. We've seen the Scratch Acid, this Scratch Acid t-shirt on the list in the past. And I believe it did actually sell for roughly, uh, what, uh, he got for it, uh, uh this go around. Uh, but this one's really great from 1984. Apparently, uh, this one that sold for $1,225 with 13 bids. Then we have this 1989 Red Hot Chili Peppers Bad Otis Link Evil Clowns t-shirt. 
Uh, this one I've only seen a few times, so I imagine it's somewhat rare. Uh, obviously, it's on this list, selling for lots of money, so it most likely is at least rare. Uh, but definitely not one you see that often, one of the early uh, Chili Peppers t-shirts. So, uh, this one has never been on the list before, and it's the first time we've seen it sell at least uh, uh, this year on the list. Uh, it is white, so you're going to have probably some y uh, yellowing or discoloration. You can kind of see that around the collar. It is single stitch like you would hope and expect. Uh, there is some damage, but that's really not going to make a huge difference on this piece as it is uh, hard to come by. This one is sold for $1,450. Eighties punk band t-shirts do seem to have quite the uh, showing over the last several months. Actually, we've been seeing quite a few uh, of the eighties punk band t-shirts go for quite a bit of money. Uh, this cramps t-shirt on a screen stars tag uh, is definitely not uh, an exception to that rule. T-shirt looked like it's in great condition. That the you know the graphics still looks pretty clean, pretty crisp without a lot of cracking. Uh, let's see. I don't believe there's a back hit on this one. I'm not even sure. Yeah, there's no back hit on this one. Uh, obviously, this one is super cool. The fade is great. Um, this one did not go for $300. It went for more than that. Uh, it went for $1,500. So this was an auction that somebody probably uh, uh, took a best offer on of $1,500. Uh, super dope t-shirt. All right, now for the only non-band tee-related t-shirt on the list today. We got the Kurt Henning and Scott Hall AWA World Tag Team Wrestling Championship t-shirt. Uh, this is from the 80s. Uh, this one, obviously, this wrestling stuff from the 80s is always super rare. We've seen a couple of big t-shirts from around this time period go for a lot of money. Only a front hit probably uh, you know, sold at a particular uh uh, wrestling match or something like that or over the mail uh, this one is the of the ringer variety also uh, definitely sort of dating it uh, this one was uh, quite in demand had 21 bids and got all the way up to 1525 uh, with a free local pickup or shipping out of minnesota uh, congratulations both buyer and seller great t-shirt here all right for our second scratch acid t-shirt this is obviously the more interesting one uh, in my opinion, on the royal, uh, the royalty, or the royal first class tee, uh, pretty, uh, pretty amazing uh, condition on this T-shirt. The, the very little cracking, at least not significant cracking. Um, definitely one of the more rare uh, T-shirts on this list for sure. Uh, definitely had quite a bit of demand for it as well. Uh, let's see, uh, what size? Size large. So. Um, Size large, 19 inches, pit to pit, 26 top to bottom. So that's not too bad. Uh, this one sold for $1,580 with 22 bids. Obviously, you're probably not going to have a lot of shots at getting this t-shirt in the future. So uh, congratulations again to Cyclotronic for another great t-shirt sale. All right, now for the honorable mention. Technically, this t-shirt would have taken the number one spot, but you know our rule, uh, Nirvana heart-shaped box tortillas are no longer allowed to be on the number one spot, so we've bumped this down to a 1B. Uh, and this one sold for $3,027 with 34 bids. Uh, that's a bit higher than the previous sales that we've seen over the last few months, but that's because this t-shirt is in exceptionally good condition. Um, and it is a size XL, which is great. Um, definitely a hard uh, one to come, or not a hard one to come by, but uh, finding it in this condition always does yield a much higher price. So uh, congratulations to the buyer and definitely congratulations to the seller because you did get uh, a really good price for a, uh, a tee that has had a lot of hype over the last uh, few weeks now and obviously over the last several years. Uh, still can't have the number one spot, but still a dope tee. So with so many fake t-shirts out there on the market, if you're going to spend $1,000 or even $100, it's good to know that your t-shirt is real or if it is in fact fraudulent, whether you're buying or selling. And that's where our friends at Legitimate come in. Their app can help you professionally authenticate your vintage t-shirt that you're interested in or you're trying to sell. You can even get a free legit check 
from their community by dropping photos into the app and let the community weigh in on whether or not your t-shirt is legit or not. Now, if you need a little bit more reassurance, there is several different paid options that are excellent and get you in touch with some of the best vintage t-shirt experts in the business. So if you need t-shirt authentication for buying and selling, you can use my code LOOTFAM to get 25% off of your purchase and authentication expenses. So check out the link in the description below for the Legitimate app and for the code to get you 25% off. Now let's get to number one. Now at number one, we have the vintage 1983 Slayer Show No Mercy t-shirt. This one is incredibly, fa like beautifully faded. You can see here some fantastic fading. Uh, it's probably razor thin uh, on this 50-50, the hands 50-50 here. Uh, not a lot of photos, but you don't really need one. This is just one t-shirt that's gonna be hard to come by early on in the Slayer uh, history. So. Uh, definitely something you're going to want to pick up if you're a Slayer fan. And uh, clearly somebody was a Slayer fan because they paid a good chunk of money for this t-shirt. Uh, they tagged it, it says women's medium, but that's probably just medium. I'm not sure there's actually, a, 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 you know, there's not even a differ differentiation between women's and men's on these t-shirts. But it's a small size, so I mean, maybe someone's going to wear it, but it is a small size, so could just be going into a collection. Uh, but anyway, this one is sold for $1,993 with 15 bids, free shipping as well. Congratulations, Shop Martin Vintage, for the number one spot for the Slayer uh, 1983 t-shirt. So obviously, Nirvana technically was the highest selling vintage t-shirt this week. But as you may know, by now we have a rule that that t-shirt cannot be number one because we see just too many of them on this list. So we gave somebody else the honor of number one. Uh, in my opinion, that Slayer t-shirt certainly uh, is worth its weight in gold. Uh, probably technically worth its weight in gold. Uh, definitely deserves to be number one in my opinion. Super cool t-shirt. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Defunct and Legitimate for supporting the channel. And thank you uh, all for being here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.